Hi everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. So in previous videos, I was promising to do a characters and beat sheet uh, Preptober video, but I kind of decided that I've been there, done that. So if you want to check out my story structure mashup, I go through the beats that include Save the Cat Beats and Romancing the Beat. And I also have all of that information on my website and probably other places as well. And then I decided that I kind of already went through characters. If y'all want to check out my videos that have like story genius and creating character arcs, um, a couple of those might be from my live videos, but I think they're also in my Preptober and Nano Poll playlist. So be sure to check those out. And I also have a video out on Notion and how to do your outline there, which I'm about to show you. And I think I've also done drills about writing uh, prompts for your characters to get their voice. But this film I've decided to do today is more vlog style for finishing up Preptober for myself. And I hope that there is helpful tips along the way for you. So here's what my Notion looks like. I've shown now before, but so in here, I just keep track of stuff, but if I go to scenes, I have my roadmap right here, and these scenes, they might as well be called uh, chapters, because that's what I end up putting there, but here's my beat sheet mashup, and so I've plotted most of all of that out, I'm very excited, and then I have my main character, flaw, wound, lie, want, need, appearance, family, favorites, yada yada, for my love interest, and my antag, which I never really have an antag, <laughs> it's like their inner uh, person, like my MC's internalness, and then like maybe a force like her parents or something, like my antags aren't really like fantasy antags, um, and then I need to figure out my side character's history still, so I'm going to take it over to a Google Doc, and I'm going to do writing prompts for myself to get voices of all my characters. I have a fairly good idea, and especially my MC is just like super high strung in the beginning, so I've got her down pretty good. I know that my love interest is a total grump. Um, I almost wish I was doing the sunshine grump uh, trope, but my girl is not all sunshine, so. Um, and then I have side characters to figure out, and um, yeah, a little bit. I just have like a little bit left. I'm so excited. So in one of my other videos, I talked about how I was trying to put in like the co-ed softball league and I wasn't sure how it was really going to fit and tie in and realized, you know, it doesn't. But my side characters could have that as their hobby and my main character could go with them, meet someone and um, which puts her and the love interest uh, adds tension for them and then um, can go back for like just for fun and then I have it being like the saving thing for my love interest later. So I kind of tied it in just a little bit, just enough and um, I'm really happy with that but I've got to figure out the rest. I know the grounding, they have their apartment, they have where they work and kind of that softball outdoor league and then what she's doing on the side which I think I'm going to give her other businesses to do that for so I just need to keep uh, rounding out my world which is what I'm going to be doing right now a lot of this I end up pantsing usually in a book and so like if y'all aren't hardcore plotters like this is just going to be like whoop but it's nice to think about <laughs> I never know how to handle families like I feel like I'm creating the same family system in all of mine where the parents are both there because there were so many young adults where parents weren't there anymore and now I'm writing adult and at a certain time like maybe your parents aren't around but they're still like mid like late 20s so a lot of it's plausible I just don't know what to do with siblings so I think my girl's going to have an older sibling, but I kind of already went this route in another book where like they were successful and so they feel like they're not as successful. So I'm torn on if I need a different sibling dynamic for her for my 
a puppy dog side character. Um, they have a giant family, so he's got a bunch of brothers and sisters. And then my opposite of puppy dog. I might make her an only child, but I might give her a younger sister because for my love interest, he feels really alone and isolated and I think that's only going to work if he doesn't have any other family or like I could give him like a half sibling or something but they're not going to play into the story at all like that's where I get hung up too is like what's going to play into the story can they just say I have family and like never mention them again <laughs> like I don't know what I always like to include and technically I could give him like an aunt or uncle or somebody, but... Okay, so now I'm just going to do one prompt for each of the characters and figure out their voice in response to the prompt. And I think I'm going to make the prompt be them. Like I love monologues when they're um, like on Office and Parks and Rec and Modern Family where they're talking to the camera about their life situation. Um, I think that always gives a lot of personality and you find out more about them at the same time. So I think I'm going to do that and maybe pluck them in at their 25% mark in the book and see how that goes. Okay, so I feel really good about this session. I got all their thoughts down about each other um, and how everyone's reacting to everyone being in each other's lives, how they are now. So um, I think that was a lot of fun. I love doing writing prompts like this where you get their voice and like get to hear from them. Um, I think Minka is going to be my like doesn't talk very much, keeps a lot of thoughts to herself, but um, what she, when she says stuff, it's good. And then Jake is going to be like, word vomit, um, it, like, too much <laughs> for my main character. And then, kind of, like, Alaric is my love interest, and he is a grump. He doesn't want to talk really much either, but he's kind of like Luke off Gilmore Girls plus Joe, I think, from Jenny and Georgia. And so, I'm kind of vibing on that mix. And then... Um, my MC who's high strung and anxious but she's trying to relax so she's going to kind of be a roller coaster for everybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't make Minka and Alark too close personality wise and voice wise so I'm going to have to tweak this a little bit. But I'm very, very excited. Um, I figured out their families, figured out their voice so I think I'm ready for Nano. Let me know if you are in the comments below or what else you're working on to finish up. Thank you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!